but we can start from verse 28. Later, knowing that all was now completed, and so that the scripture would be fulfilled, Jesus said, I'm fasting. A jar of wine was there, so they soaked a spoon in it, put a spoon on the stroke of the of blood, and lifted it to Jesus. Jesus has lips. Now, Pastor, when he had received the tree, Jesus said, It is finished. With that, the boy is dead and gave up his spirit. To a man of way back on me, he don't have to say that on me. Now, I'm back to two weeks. To Thank you. 
are dying on the cross for us to buy the way, to give us eternal life, to make us Lord King of glory, to tramp on the devil and his works. It is because of what you cried on the cross. Therefore, Lord, in turn, we say, may you continue to give us the Holy Spirit. May you continue to strengthen the family of the dead. May you continue to work with the dead, guide the dead, and preserve them for your good. Lord, King of glory, you are the King of kings and Lord of us. There is nothing impossible for you. We pray that, Father, may you give strength to this family. Some of them, they are weak. We pray for all the children, the sons and daughters, the grandchildren, the in-laws, the relatives, from both sides. We pray for them, the Father, King of glory. Let them know and understand your will. That is God who gives and is God who takes. So who do you spend your fellowship with? With the work man and army. Work man who carry the packages and baby who the cabin you need. That's me. So I try to do that. Come on, I try to come on famous. To get your boy, I try to slap the minimum. Jamama, get you. Na ye mi chuche tuwa ya wane sweti sana. It is a family, Kwai and Bango, your speaker. Lorenzo to get up choir, choir, to get up to what he is back. They up quiet and get up in a special. Emo, they want that up to you. From here, plus. I went to the chat. She paid the hour to get up to take.
Chara Nidiani, Oite, or So at that point, 
Kabayo Kuban, Kuban, Yena Kampa, and Scalibano, and Masao Badi. They had experts, but those experts come from other hospitals. So the whole issue around access to service for me, Jenna Jenny, and Jenny. Trevor Zapatunda, Ogabla Mama, Trevor Zapatunda, the absolute Sazza, Trevor Zapatunda, the appropriate time in the mama. At one time, Mama, I think I need to know, but not to come back to me, to come in his art. I think that was around October, November last year. COVID time, for example. But by the time she rested, she had smiled. Also, my testimony was good. When I was sitting there experiencing care, but I was not taking care So what I could tell her, Mama, to cry. I told her when I moved in, I told her when I moved in, I told her when I moved in. And she always said, I told her when I moved in. And my last words were found on that Monday night, before she passed on on Tuesday, so So in the process in the hour, to take a whole so that she can us in praise of God. And I thank God for those moments. We thank God for the life of that in one of our in my life, I see her as someone who got married as a child mother, someone who raised everyone around her, and someone who took care of everything. We thank God for her life, because it has been a rich life. We also want to thank all of you, our friends, uh, our, our husbands, our wives, for being part of this journey. Mama's Care became an institution. It was a real institution. Someone had to pay for the nurses, someone had to pay for the caregivers, someone had to maintain the home because she would not maintain the home anymore. So we can only be grateful to God for her life. We also thank the church. They come to hospital in those last moments, which was very fulfilling. So I want to thank all of you for giving us an opportunity to speak to you. We had said we would not speak, but when we God want to do that way. Thank you very much, and we thank God for her life. All of us, whether you married to a Muslim or what, you can sing in the choir. That is the religion she gave us, and that is the legacy she leaves. Up to the last minute, she could read all those things, so she's going to be with the Lord, which was her desire. But also, Another thing we struggled with was what prayer do we ask God? Are you 97? I am not. But we are So we are always in a dilemma what to pray for. And when I speak to my last prayer, I am not a father. 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 I am we thank God for her life. I want to thank all my siblings. <coughs> Mama, you are raising Babana Baba Wala. Well, is so powerful. They are all strong characters. So you can imagine those meetings of making decisions. They were not easy meetings. The boys are bit humble. But we are very to our family. Now all the girls in task from her are very strong women. So those were also challenges. I want to start out because I did and we thank God we never got her to come back at that moment. What one by the moment builds the intensive care? So what the other day was a way, what how many millions? We don't know. So let me end there. On behalf of my siblings, we want to thank all of you. You may have us. I want to talk about the new, but what the Mabubo, but where there's a message, yes? It's been very comforting. So we pray that our soul is in peace. Thank you very much.
Mkuti kansako ya waito Omu genzi Mwite wa ni mma iso Mwite wa mwa mkulada na wote Mwite wa mwa mkulada na wote Mwite wa mwa mkulada na wote The clergy, fellow mourners, we thank you all for being with us at this difficult moment. My name is Pasi Bakaga, and all I'm the I happen to be the eldest grandchild, and that's why I'm speaking on their behalf. As it has already been said, grandmother was a Christian. She loved everyone who was in her home. She was a source of inspiration. All those who are at her home had an opportunity to study and indeed those who studied she said they made out in life. I just want to share one story that I had with her when she was going to have some uh, guests from uh, the US who have come to help with watering. She told, she told me, Pasi, what food are these guys going to eat? I told her, give her the food you eat. I told her, she told me, you mean they will eat kosho? You mean they will eat a plan? I said, whatever you eat, they will eat. If it is matoke and greens, they will eat. Then she was skeptical. The day came, the visitors came. And the following day, she told me, Pasi, you saved me a lot of money. She was really modest. She told me, the visitors enjoyed Osho. The visitors enjoyed the greens. They enjoyed the Katiukuma and I saw her smile, that very smile on that picture. Honestly, she was generous, all of us enjoyed her money, especially pocket money. Whoever was going to school got a penny from her. And to those who are giving it to her were wondering how she was spending her money. Other than giving to us pocket money, one time she told me, Pasi, you know what? This business of bringing me rice, sugar, ABCD, I don't want. Give me money because I have to go and attend my gardens. I have to go pay the workers. I need to pay them salaries. And I listened to her. And then the story changed. And that was it. Whenever I go to visit her, I know she loved God's meat. So we visit a butcher, buy all the meat to take to her. Though she never ate chicken, but she cook it deliciously. And the visitors enjoy it. Honestly, I don't have much time, uh, we don't have much time to talk about it, but she was a Christian, she used to be studying in us, and we've gone on with a project of completing the Mira Church, which was motivated in 2018 courtesy of her, uh, as also children, and we are growing up wherever we are, we are 
uh, been, been inspired to follow in their shoes by helping the judges in the community in Libya. The grandchildren are many, just because some children are having holidays today, otherwise they are more than 40. Gracias. 
ukole hili jamii ile cha kisa mwana mbele baki mtu na wale kama baba ife okuba buti emirende
Oh, my God.